And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. The guy on that video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap? Uh, the thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom and the hoodie guy comes out. I did some digging on Simon Hillary. What do you mean? I kind of took a peek at his personnel file. Took a what? Then I found his high school yearbook online. Becky, are you sure that's a good idea right now? Well, maybe it wasn't the safest move, but... Whatever. It was worth it. What'd you find? I found Simon Hillary. So? That's Simon Hillary. Wait, are... Are you saying... Our Simon is not THE Simon? What if he stole this guy's identity? But how? The timeline fits. They'd be about the same age. And look, you can see a resemblance. Adam supposedly died in the fire, then pretty soon after, Simon Hillary starts his training. He's been following me since the briefing. Simon? Or Adam, I guess? Yeah. He knew I'd be looking into old cases. And that, with enough digging, they'd lead me right to him. Damn it. I'm not sure if there's enough here yet for a warrant. No, 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 he... He lied on his application. He's stolen someone's identity. Okay, so he's a fraud. We could get him kicked off the force, but we still can't prove that he's a killer. Shit. Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target, the Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. The second target, the orderly. Arranged a meeting with a girl, an escort, the night he was killed. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. If it is Simon, maybe he's using a hooker to lure his targets into a premeditated murder site. Or... Maybe there's just... Maybe there's something we're missing. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone's out to get me. Don't worry, Detective. You're safe with me. I'll cheers to that. Simon knew Jonathan Finn started talking and... And then he killed Calvary because he knew everyone would immediately suspect me. Throw them all right off the scent. It could be why Finn clammed up when he heard Calvary bid it. Because he knew it was Adam finally making good on his promise to get him out of jail. What? Felicity, what? Well, a search warrant for Simon's house is out of the question. But there is another way. Like? He knows you. 
So you could call him up for a drink, and while he's out here and you've got your eyes on him... Seriously? You want to break into his house? Well, Felicity, that's illegal. But we'd know for sure. Felicity, I don't think either of us should be getting in that kind of trouble. There has to be another way. My advice? Sleep on it. Take all this to Sergeant in the morning. All right. See ya. Hey, Lana. Check your email now. What email? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. They're two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Ah. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick. She did to me. What did she put inside of me? God damn it. She was a, who who's she? Was a a woman. A goddamn whore. What has she done? you, Simon. Adam? I fucking know. Impressive work. I'm almost sorry no one's gonna get to know how good of a detective you are. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Vanstone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just a timer. Another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. For anyone in, say, uh, a hundred foot radius. 
this, give or take. Which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart, stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. So what did he say? You gonna get me out of this? What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 Shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? this out so if you take this phone out of me it can't hurt me right you gotta get it out of me Contacts. Tom Nelson. Jesus, Becky, where are you? Oh, God. Tom. We got a tip that you kidnapped Judge Vanstone. Said you were hiding out at the Elliott Hotel. We are outside right now. I'm at the hotel, but you gotta help me. Please. Thank you.
Hold up! Holy... You're cutting it close there, Tom. I've had enough of your shit. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back with his family recovering. Detective Marnie escaped the scene and then proceeded to invade the home of Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police. Detective Becky Marnie has been investigating Hillary in connection to the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Detective Marnie was found dead at the scene. Officials have confirmed that Marnie is considered a suspect in the slaying of fellow detective Jack Calvary. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. We can now confirm that Detective Becky Marnie has been killed. We have no further comments at this time. Thank you. I don't know if Detective Marnie was a trapper. I can't prove that. I know she had motive. Opportunity, maybe. I guess it comes down to whether or not I trust her. I've been asking myself that for a long time now. Becky Marnie saved my life. She should get a goddamn medal as far as I'm concerned. Do you know someone named Simon Hillary? Mm -hmm. 
Marnie, she's a tough nut to crack, and yes, she's got a lot of baggage, but I should have trusted her. She was right. And what about the charges against her? The charges? I think they're bullshit. Thank you.